Hello, Dicers! Welcome back to Dice Decides. So, we are back with Rambo, and uh, here we go, it's episode 5. And Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. <laughs> and where is Mr. Midnight? <laughs> Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? It can't be Mr. Midnight. He's an innocent soul. But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? Um, wait. Is she implying that she did it? Wait, what? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. I don't like her. <laughs> oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Good question. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality <laughs> okay maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time that would make sense like you five seconds ago <laughs> or I'm just imagining things but if it's true how could I make contact with her dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head <laughs> yeah but then you realized that he his father cut his arm with a knife and he didn't even tell you that, so... Are you psychic, Franbo? I wish Mr. Midnight would come through the window to save me. <laughs> That'd be cute. Time from the cuckoo clock. <laughs> the doll likes to read a lot. I know because I taught her. <laughs> oh! What? And the window took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Uh, are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. A and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are... myself. You really are. <laughs> you think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, no, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. I guess. I, what? They? Who are they? 
All the creatures that we can see, the black ones, the white ones, do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? You don't even know? You're not Franbo. <laughs> what? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. <laughs> I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I am a key collector. I'll be right back. Who are you? <laughs> I'm so confused. Lost and found. I have nothing in my backpack. Or purse, I mean. Um. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Wait, wait, wait. I'm controlling her now. <laughs> okay. The door is closed. If I open it, I'll get in trouble. If I get in trouble, I'll be sad. The big pig teddy that eats big, big monsters. Please, Doc, I know you can. No? <laughs> You're a bad teddy. This shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. <laughs> it's been lying on the floor since then. These are pants and can be used by creatures with two legs, or as a hat for those with long ears. Anyway, I won't use them now. The blue scarf from Winter Time. What is it doing here? It's not winter. I'll pick it up some other time. <laughs> okay, do we have keys? Oh, yes we do. Hey, my key collection. I hope I can unlock the other friend now. <laughs> Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. One blue blanket and one white. I don't need them right now. They are for when it's very cold. Ooh, oh, it's Palantras. And Edward. I drew this after my journey with Edward and Palantras. I think Palantras is funny and smells like bubblegum. And Edward likes to play all day long. Okay, so... This version was also in the... In that reality. So, we have some things in common. Uh, it's weird. Please, Fran, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. <laughs> Let's see. Which key? <laughs> Which key would fit in there? We need... They all could potentially. Probably... Let's try this one. Ah, it won't fit. Let's try another 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 one. Ah, unlocked. <laughs> I tried every key except one. Thank you so much, friend. Hehe, <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantras told me that... If we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. The little... Wait, wait. wait. Palantras? You know him too? Wow. Thank you. Yeah, so he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? R ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no. I can now. She's coming. Be quiet. Uh-oh. Wait. Who's uh, the nurse? Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Oh, no. Oh. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! <laughs> you tell them, Frambo. Okay, we have all that stuff. And what is this? The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. 
I press it by the ears first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Oh, these are clues how to open the box. Press by the ears first twice to the left and once to the right. Okay, left, left, right, and then rub the eye two times, and take once by the left ear. Uh, okay, <laughs> Let's see if I can remember that. Uh, okay, how do you do this? Ears? I don't see ears. There's eye. Oh, ear. One, two. Three, down. That's not right. Ah, what am I missing? Wait, wait, wait what, what? Let me read that again. <laughs> left, left, right. Then rub the only eye two times. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden bucks. Press your eye again and open the door. <laughs> Okay, I need to remember to scream that. <laughs> that's what that's what'll make it work. <laughs> okay. Stop whining, you little golden box. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Stop whining, you little golden box! Oh my goodness, it opened! I'm a master. <laughs> it's the screaming, that's what did it. <laughs> um, what is this? Ooh, look at that cat key. <laughs> I like the design of that. Mabuka Mabuka! Wake up, Mother Mabuka! The horn child is playing with the light. The Velocos is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child. Before the darkness ends, in the hands of the light, Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the car clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles, and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. I have no idea what I just read. <laughs> Designed by Cogwind. Oh, it's the clockmaster guy. There were a lot of keys here, and now there's balloons. Okay, guess I'll take them. Balloons in many colors. <laughs> How cute. Um, ew, it has a cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. <laughs> good, good thing you're not licking random hair. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Also to comb my hair and see if the clothing fits. Sometimes I stare at my eyes for a very long time and get scared. <laughs> Don't freak yourself out, Rambo. Oh, is that your friend? Aw, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff together. Is that Alice from Wonderland? About a wonderful land? Wonderland? <laughs> it would make sense. Anyway, why are you hanging out with Alice in Wonderland, Frambo? <laughs> Hello, don't look at me like that. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. Ooh. Oh, my school case. I may need it. That kind of looks like something we can use to build this clock. Okay, well, is this a... What? That's a door. I don't remember having the door removed. <laughs> How? What? <laughs> How will I get out then? I can't walk through walls. If I want to find Mr. Midnight, I have to find the door. Ah, uh, finding a door. <laughs> Great. Oh. <laughs> I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. <laughs> Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. Why does Frambo look like Pinocchio? Like, she looks wooden. <laughs> I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects. Yes, he probably did. I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. <laughs> okay, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. I guess we're in the ultra reality still. Or again. 
Ah, Kamala? Nasty creatures. Poor tree. He must be really sad with that Kamala eating from him. I know Kamalas don't like water. Hmm, can I pour some water? I don't have water. Great, that's creepy as heck. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. Yes, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. The Dank Engine. <laughs> it sings all the time. Choo-choo. And then you crash and die. Did she just laugh? <laughs> it's not funny, Franbo. <laughs> Don't laugh about death. <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. <laughs> we are laying on the grass and looking up at the sky. And I'm singing songs to Mr. Midnight too. Okay. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna keep this little piano to play lovely melodies. I could combine this with the box. Hmm, even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. To build this clock, Fanbo. Can I grab some stamps? This one is Albert, and he likes relative things. Oh, Albert Einstein. Yes. <laughs> Everything is relative, Fanbo. Wait, that's a key. What could it be? Can you peel it up? Oh, aha, a key. I bet this can unlock something. Heck yeah. Quite a hidden key, wasn't it? This key was hidden in the dollhouse. Yes, it was. Uh, what could we lock up now? Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. <laughs> Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I've not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Oh, eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Oh, poor tree is sad. Oh, uh, well. I may be able to help you. I got rid of Kamala ones all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I know I need water. I haven't seen any water here. What about the cat? Can I open that? <gasps> the cat dummy has a keyhole? I didn't know this. Oh my god, I was wondering what the cat key was for. Combine it with the cat. Wait, wait, use... Use Belantra's key with door. <laughs> it's a cat door. Mr. Midnight, are you hiding in there? <gasps> it's flying! What? <laughs> ah, so that's where the door was. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Great. Oh my god. What? Am I in some kind of toy box? What is happening? Okay. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Mm. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. I know. It, it, it looks just like your eye, friend. Oh no, this game just got worse. Aha! A key to unlock things that are locked. Yeah, that's what keys are for. Ugh, so many doors. Should I just try it on some random door? Okay, let's go down. Another key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? 
You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave. Now, just leave. <laughs> but Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I of the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Okay, how do we do that then? Open up your mouth, yitch. <laughs> I can't do that. Should we call him? What's his number? I don't know any numbers. Inside the little house. Oh, a little message in the pocket. The little house? Oh, I see. I don't see, friend. <laughs> is this Edward's clothing? But where is he then? Edward, are you somewhere near? <laughs> I just imagine him without any clothes. <laughs> oh, that's Edward's hat. Edward forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot its head. <laughs> that could make sense. Or maybe the hand can't exist without the head and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow. Okay. Um, alright. That's a flying table with the bottle. Uh, I'm not confused at all. I don't know. What's, what's your problem? <laughs> um. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. Um, I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? <laughs> yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. <laughs> I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Uh, just let me have the soap for a little while. All right, then take it. It's all yours. Thank you. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Uh, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. <laughs> Great. Oh, a rose. Okay, can... Wait. Hmm, I can't go there. There's no floor. I could try flying, but what if I can't fly? I could die. I'll better not jump either. The room is quite far away. Alright, what do we do with the soap? Can we use on that guy? Use soap with skull. Sometimes things just don't work. Oh, mysterious paintings in the mysterious place. Eyes are crying, tears of blood. That's sad. It is sad. Should we try any of the other doors? Could do, could do. Hmm, the key doesn't fit. What about the other door? Aha. More weird eyes? I'm not surprised. Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am a cooler, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. <laughs> Absolutely everything. Oh my gosh. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He is still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. 
It's him. It's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm friend, by the way. I'll see you around. What a nice eye. <laughs> a golden snail? Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Be quiet. You, you don't want to wake snails up. Ah, a hair brush to brush hair. <laughs> it's in the name. <laughs> so we got a hair brush. What? what about those eyes? Eyes are looking around. I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Maybe a Kula, but she can't be the brain because she's an eye. <laughs> Can I pull this? Ooh. Okay, then we're okay. We're up here now. I may need this wire in the near future. We got a wire. Oh, insert button. What? <laughs> Hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fran. This bottle is perfect. I'll take it. Oh, nice. We have a bottle now. We can fill it with water and pour it on the Kamala. All right. Can we use the bath water? Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Oh, light bulbs. I need those. Great, I got the light bulb now. Amazing. Use bottle with faucet. This could work wonderfully if the water was on. Ah. Oh, okay, it's on now. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a problem. All right. I fill the bottle with water. La la la. Okay, we have water now. Can we fill up the balloons as well? Hey, that worked. Ah, the powerful water balloons. Amazing. So, we can definitely toss some stuff on the Kamala. Come here, Kamala. Take this. Oh, goodness, I missed. We'll try again, Frambo. Ah, almost. Last try. Last try, Frambo. You gotta do it now. Aim real hard. Woo! Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. <laughs> wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A stick. Why, thank you, tree. <laughs> there, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. All right. We got a stick. Oh my god, I'm so happy now we have a freaking stick. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I poke the eye out? Trying out things is good, but in this case it won't do any good. Okay, can we pick lock? Lock pick? What about the other one? No. Good. <laughs> Not good. Um, hmm. We don't have any coins. We don't have any buttons. Is there any I can take? Was there anything in the... Wait, so a button is on clothes usually, right? That's a button. Wait, wait, wait. That's a button, right? It, the summer dress. It has a big button. Yes. How do we remove it? Ton knife. Yes. <laughs> knife. Solves everything. A big pink button from my summer dress. Right, well, I'm sure that will work for the monkey machine. It should. Okay, here we go. Button insert here. Heck yeah. And there goes my button. Now what? Oh, wait, I need to plug it back in. Alright. And now, turn it. Aha! Look at that. Flyers. That's not the key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. Oh, that should help me get the key from the skull. I imagine. Monkey! <laughs> Alright. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, okay, there's something else. Okay. So, right now, uh, we have 
pliers that could work on the skull if I'm lucky. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was going to be so graphic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Shiny little key. Come here. I wonder what door you'll unlock. Okay. Uh, good question. What door? Just another one of those doors, probably. Two, 102 or 103? Guess we'll find out. It was 102. Mr. Midnight! <laughs> At least I thought it was. Wow, that's what a big game. You look exactly like Mr. Midnight. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have to find him. And for that, I have to open all the doors. All the doors. Okay, what do we have? Oh, the glove. We need the glove. Give me the glove. Turn the lever. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> We can walk on that. Thank you, Mr. Midnight Looking Cat. Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. All right, we're almost done. We have only the wake up clock left. Oh, and black wire. Yeah, I know where that is. Wake up clock. Okay, it's probably in the last door. What is this? Uh, uh, okay, elevator to heaven. <laughs> oh my god, that's the key for the last door. Hey, I remember you. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. <laughs> you don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. <laughs> How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. It must be the key for door 103. I can smell it. Right? She is on fire, so water surely will help. No? Uh. Okay, so we just put stuff on the cat? Wait, oh, we open it. <laughs> and then we put it in. Okay. <laughs> One thing at a time. Oh wait, not the brush. Glove. Clock. Go inside. All of this. Junk. <laughs> Thank you for being my garbage can cat. Appreciate it. Anything else? Uh, so. Oh, what did I do? Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks amazing. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Just what I said. The Eckhart clock is finished. Maybe we can use the hairbrush. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb. What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. <laughs> All right, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Ah. <laughs> Look, your hair is fabulous now. Fabulous. It burned. Oh my god. She became... Bugs. <laughs> What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a Lucifern. All Luciferns I may do this all the time. Really? Oh, well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Bye-bye, <laughs> Lucifern. Goodbye. That must be the key for door 103. Okay. Uh, how do we reach it? With the stick, of course. Fantastic. I can reach it. Now I have the key. Oh, yeah. All right, can I open the door now? I should be able to. <laughs> Okie doke. Door. Opened. All righty, there's a lot of animals with red eyes. Good, good. Hmm. <laughs> 
The floor is beating like a heart. Yes, it does feel like I'm in, inside of some kind of organ. It's, it's great. <laughs> Creature from above, get out from a book is dead. You are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With crazy ideas of Cogwind. Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you have been into Ithursta. Horrid plays, I must say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Stupid tree. I'm waking up, Mabuka. <laughs> Ooh, snap. Oh, hello, Mabuka. Ah, be well, Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Nobody will answer. They are afraid of you. That can't be good for a mother, but I can tell you who I am. I'm friend Bo. A human girl and very brave. A human in the book is dead. That's amusing. <laughs> Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I can use the violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you. But what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Velocus from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation, and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason. If that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself. The truth you're seeking. Go on. Keeper of the key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Oh, we're going deep inside of the heart, hey? Can you please wake up again, Mabuka? Ugh, I have so many questions. What does it mean to be the key keeper? Okay, well, I guess we're going down. <laughs> oh, I like this music. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay, who are you two? <sighs> anyway, guys, uh, I'll end it here. <laughs> Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, remember to gently tap the like button. Remember so you don't miss an upload. Thanks for watching, Dicers. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you next time.